welcome back to my channel welcome back to a brand new video and today we have a another renovation vlog slash i'm going to have to start calling these moving vlogs because i feel like we're moving house from downstairs to upstairs it's a big change i'm ordering lots of furniture bits and having to build furniture bits and just get loads of new in bits to style up the rooms as we start moving up into them which is so exciting honestly we are at the point now where i have followed the motto of keep calm and carry on for a long time but i'm ready to get upstairs now i'm done i'm done living downstairs we need to get upstairs and start enjoying these spaces that we've created so i will have many more videos to come of these kind of renovation vlogs I and mean, we're still to renovate downstairs in the new year anyway but even including upstairs you know dressing up the rooms room tours that kind of thing home hauls as always so if you like these kind of videos then be sure to subscribe and stick around if you haven't already give this video a thumbs up if you do want me to continue the renovation slash moving content and if you want to follow live in the moment regular updates then you can follow me over on my instagram home account at Freya Farrington home where I post as and when in the moment rather than these videos which were accumulation of a couple of weeks. So before we jump into today's video, we are very fortunate to have a sponsor. Let me switch you around here and show you this Emma mattress. And I cannot explain how excited I am for this. So here we have this mahoosive box which I cannot wait to get into because Opening this box means that we have a great night of sleep ahead of us, which I cannot wait for to be in this bedroom. Finally, after six months of renovations, it's just so exciting. And we are kickstarting our first night's sleep in here with a brand new Emma mattress. This one is, I mean, we've gone all out. <laughs> we've gone all out. We have treated ourselves to a super king bed and the Super King Premium Mattress from Emma. I do actually have a discount code for you guys as well. So if you want to save more money and get your very own mattress, you can use the discount code FREASLEEP in capitals, all one word, and that will get you a discount off at checkout. Make sure to use that whilst it lasts. I'll leave that along with all the information down in the description box below, as well as a link which you can click through direct to be able to shop this mattress. And if you have never heard of Emma Mattresses, before they own the uk's most awarded mattress they're not only good for side sleepers like myself but also back and stomach sleepers they have great airflow allowing for breathability which basically means no more sweaty nights which is just gross they do have a 2020 let me rephrase that 200 night free trials so if you decide that it's not for you you order it online with free shipping easy returns as well you try it out for up to 200 days and you still don't like it they have that trial for free and they also have a 10 year guarantee which is just amazing for a mattress so myself and tom were actually gonna i'm gonna drag him up here get the bed built the mattress on dress it all make it all look all exciting for us to get into tonight i think when you first open it up you have to we have actually had them a mattress before when you get it out it is quite compact because they literally pack it up into this one box this is a super king as well it's really flat and then you just allow it to like kind of expand to its natural form before dressing the bed so we will soon be getting a great night's sleep from tonight which is good all round because that means you're happy and feeling energized for your morning and day ahead i honestly do think one of the best things to invest into in your home is a decent bed because we're spending a lot of time in our beds we want to enjoy them so i might even be treating us to some new bedding some new cushions and throws and i do actually have some pillows as well which i'm going to show you so these are the two pillow options that they have they do have the what they call the emma pillow and then also the microfiber premium pillow we have got two of each so myself and tom will have one of each they even have duvets they do have quite a good variety i mean you can set yourself up with a brand new bed sooner than you know it if you get your order in today so i will leave all the information listed below thank you to emma for working with me and partnering with me on today's video without further ado let's get this bad boy open let's get it on the bed and let's get it set for our first night's sleep 
in our brand new bedroom. We have also had the arrival of our bed. This is the bed that we've gone for from Cotswold Company, the Chantilly Super King size bed in dusky black. Dusky black is more of like a charcoal black. So I was a bit dubious about that, but I do think it'd be quite nice not to have harsh black everywhere. Let me show you exactly why we need to get out of this room. For one, it is an absolute mess. We're just getting hordes of stuff now that needs to go upstairs, need to go away. And of course the main reason, we've had a smashed window for what feels like a while now. Scaffolders, when they took the scaffolding down, smashed this window by accident. And we've kind of boxed it in because some of the glass has already fallen out. So it's pretty cold in here. And there's no point in having the radiator on because that is completely counterproductive, not energy efficient at all. So we just need to get out of this room. Roasting. All I've done is hoovered and raw. So pray for me. Then you stood there smiling at me as so many times before. I never wanna be away, leave you again. You are all I want. So the bed is built, the mattress is on. It's actually a pretty good color match to the bed, the actual mattress. Obviously you can zip it off, making it really easy to clean as well. I have just read this card. We need to leave it for five hours to do its thing before we can sleep on it. So once the five hours is up, I'll be able to dress the bed, make it all nice for this evening's first night's sleep in our brand new bed super king bed how exciting is that i have to admit being with a guy who is six foot five this to me is everything so myself and tom are going to go to ikea today we are on the hunt for a chest of drawers wardrobes the packed wardrobes bedside table plural bed, bedside tables and what else i think that's it is that it? wardrobes oh and then like a console table upstairs and the wardrobes up in the loft as well although we do need to measure out and decide what we're doing with that so i thought i would just do maybe a little bit of vlog footage of what we get up to there and you might sneak a peek of some new in things in ikea i believe they've got some of their christmas things i might even do a whole separate come to come shopping with me to ikea for all their christmas range but yeah that's what we're doing this morning. Then when we get back, I think the plan is to just crack on with either building those bits, starting to fill the wardrobes, start clearing out all the stuff that we've got downstairs that we need to start, kind of like reorganize. But first stop, let's head to Ikea. And of course, we're gonna get the meatballs. Please wait for three I like this basket. Does it say where it is, what it is? Yeah, that one. I saw you down the motorway. There was something about you that day. I can still hear the shimmering sound. the camera. The hill is near. It's Let's your... get right up. Walk up to the very top. We couldn't tell the sky from the ground. I know my life will never be the same after that day. You wrap me around your fingers and you stay.
Red sky at night, shepherd's delight, Tommy. Red sky at night, shepherd's delight. That'd be nice. So we are back from Ikea. We had a lovely little trip out and come back to this. The good old flat pack. We did actually have a look at, what's it called? Tusk Rabbit or something. Tusk Rabbit. True, Tusk Rabbit. Yeah. Where you can actually pay them to build it. All our, all our wardrobes and everything that we've gone for are coming in two days. So we thought we could, we could wait. We could just kind of just let them build everything. It's kind of pricey. It, was, it came to a total, I think they priced it per item. It was about 280 quid. And I just thought for three wardrobes, a chest of drawers and one bedside table, we could just crack on and do it. So that is what we're doing this evening. We've had a bit of a hoover up, a bit of a tidy. Tom is tasked with, we've gone for the Hemnes range. I think that's how you pronounce it. So this is the three jaw chest of drawers that is gonna go in this spare bedroom. Ooh, nearly falling over. Gonna go in this spare bedroom here. I feel like we need to explain. That's just how it should be, isn't it? Yeah, this is a phone holding light switch that we invested into. We've got the wrong one, so obviously we're getting them replaced, but um, temporarily, it's a pretty good nifty solution that allows us to keep the lights on. So yeah, Tom is tasked with building this, and then we also got the Hemnes. This is the bedside table. So again, it comes with three drawers. The top drawer is a little bit smaller. And I went for these in white because the black I feel would contrast too much against the bed. They only had one left. They did have 18 in another store only half an hour away. So might have to at some point go and pick up another one. And then at the same time, I think I might do like a bit of an Ikea video vlog, what's new in, because they had quite a few Christmas bits in. So yeah, I feel like my job this evening is to build this. You have to just excuse the cozy vibes. It is Sunday, so we have been out for a morning walk, but it's so cold that I got back into my dressing gown. But I thought I would do a bit of a walk through, a bit of a run through of where we are at currently with the renovation. So let's go upstairs. So this is now what you see when you first walk in. We have had just a kind of like cheaper carpet to be honest with you i don't even know what this carpet is they just included this run free of charge for us just to uh, be able to use this as a kind of doormat and you can see on the top step there where the carpet is a different color that is our actual carpet we've gone for but it's a pretty close match in terms of the color is just fairly neutral and beige obviously all of this skirting board and walls and everything we've not really had properly done same with this staircase because we're renovating all of this this is probably going to get a little bit messy a little bit dirty um and we're going to try and keep this kind of middle way clear and clean as much as possible but yeah excuse the marks essentially so no shoes upstairs now, which is amazing. In fact, we're insisting on it. <laughs> Absolutely no shoes. And then they've very kindly left us with some offcuts of the carpet just to use as a kind of like protector. I did mention about getting that kind of clear protector stuff that you can put on a carpet to protect it. You know, if you've got tradesmen going in and out, they did actually advise against it for a new carpet because it tends to leave a bit of a residue and then that will pick up more dirt when you actually remove it. So we're just gonna go with this. We've only really got electrician and plumber back in to finish off and it's fairly clean work for them. So. Yes, this is the carpet we've gone for. It's from Kormar Carpets in Ledbury Linen. That's the colour. It's kind of a nice natural beige tone with this kind of hatched effect, kind of crisscross design, which I love. It kind of gives it that rustic farmhouse vibe, like natural fibres as well. This is part wool. We were going to go 100% wool, but this one apparently lasts a bit longer. It's like 50% wool, 50% polyester. So it's just a little more hard wearing, lasts a bit longer and the natural fibers still give it that kind of good texture. I just love it. So I also ordered these trims in between the doors, these black trims from Amazon. They were quite affordable. I think they're about 
between five and 10 pounds each. This whole area has ended up being a bit of a problem. As you can see, we've had to have the door removed. Essentially because this door opens up into the corridor and it just needs a bit shaving off the bottom because it would drag and pull the carpet. There wasn't enough gap. Whereas the other doors obviously have this gap underneath so they work perfectly fine. So they were okay, it's just this bathroom door, that's it. Um, and then the other thing is obviously when we had the tiler in, the door casings, this bit here which is like the door stopper, we did have on the other side to open into the bathroom. We switched that after the tiler had been, which means the door casing is on this side, now opens out, which means we've got a gap here, which once the door is closed and you're stood in the bathroom, you're going to be able to see a bit of carpet. So that will get changed at a later date. We're not worrying too much about it now. I think our priorities is just to get back upstairs, get started moving in, and it's really not the end of the world. We can fix that at a later date. But yeah, the joiner will be back to trim that door down and re attach it essentially and then we have the plumber in from tomorrow oh this upsets me that this bath is full of stuff now but we had to do this for the carpet guys the plumber's in tomorrow to start fitting in here the toilet the vanity unit the actual shower in here and then also the shower in the spare room and then also be able to switch on all the radiators so we have heating up here but all the radiators are hung which is amazing we also just need the electrician back in to fit all the fixtures the sockets and switches we've ordered them from Corston. we switched up from the last order that we had decided to go for Corston ones handles are also coming from Corston, and we've also got a door stopper for we probably need to get them for all the rooms actually but i've only ordered for now the master bedroom where there is a light behind the door so we just don't want it getting smashed but this is my filming room all complete with carpet we've gone for these radiators which i have shown in a previous vlog but i'll show them again they're kind of the traditional column style radiators i just feel like they fit in quite nicely with the traditional kind of theme of this property again it all needs cleaning um, it's all a bit dusty up here still. So the column star radiators, they're from Best Heating, as are the feet. They didn't have black feet, which is so annoying. So on the black radiators, I've gone for this antique breast, which matches the valves. On the white radiators, I've gone for white feet. But these valves are from radiatorvalves4u.co.uk. Perfect kind of brushed brass. I really, really like it. So happy with them. This one is slightly narrower than the other one. This one's only a two column. The black ones that we've gone for are triple column. No reason other than we just had to kind of like work out the wattage and what kind of output we needed for each room. We've gone for black latches as well, which I love, and the door hinges as well. Oh, someone's left a mug here. The shower that we've gone for in here is chrome. It's from Myra. It's the Realm Mixer Shower. And I love that this is more of a kind of traditional look. I just love the actual handle and the design of it. I can't wait for them to fit that tomorrow. We've gone for chrome in this bathroom in terms of the radiators. I think these are from Best Heating as well. As you can tell, we still need to hoover up all of this carpet, but if we lead on up into what is the loft. So again, this room does need a little bit of a clean. This flooring needs cleaning up, but we've got the spare rolls for the first staircase once we have finally completed the renovations which will probably be in like a year by the time we've actually done the extension and everything so for now we'll probably just keep it in the eaves storage and then in here we have what is a working bathroom gone for the soft clothes although I might actually change up those toilet seats I feel like I'm not really a fan of plastic ones. I might get some wooden ones if I can find them. And then you've seen this bathroom, I feel like a million times now. I feel like I could just stand here and just look at all these different angles and details. I'm obsessed. Let me just head on back downstairs on my fresh carpet with no shoes, no socks and sandals combos anymore. And dressing gown, oh, it feels so homely. It is. Toasty, so warm in here. We have the radiators all being tested. I went to London for a few days and got a couple of homework bits. Just the cutest little thing, which I thought could be a nice memory from the trip from Fortnum Masons. They had all the Christmas stuff out, <sighs> amazing. And they had some like Halloween bits as well. But I decided to just pick up this as a little kind of fun memory for 
trip that we did down in London. It was like for a family birthday type trip and it's our first Christmas. Well, it's not our first Christmas in this house actually. I did actually vlog Christmas last year in this house. And it's our first Christmas having started the renovations. First time we've got the upstairs to the point where because we don't have the downstairs done and we won't until maybe next Christmas, I'm thinking maybe a big Christmas tree in this bay window in the master bedroom. That's a bit extra, it's a bit different. I suppose we might put it downstairs, but I kind of want it up in the rooms where we've renovated. So anyway, as a result, I picked up a Christmas decoration from Fortnum & Mason's, and it's the cutest little hanging decoration, which is a little traditional kind of Fortnum & Mason's basket with the F&M on, and it's got a little kind of olivey green it actually complements this wall color quite nicely if anyone's watched fleur de force here on youtube i'm pretty sure she does like this thing where every time they go traveling or any time they go away on holiday they pick up a christmas decoration so it's kind of a memory on the christmas tree of some where they've been so this is our first little travel bauble which signifies our London trip, which we thoroughly enjoyed. So I've got this for, when I say my bathroom, I'm talking like the main bathroom, the one that I'll be using. Tom used the one on the top floor. I will show you the bathroom in a second because we've made a little bit of progress. Finishing touches, hopefully finishing tomorrow. Plumbers are back tomorrow and hopefully it'll all be done. From Aesop, Aesop, Aesop. I do actually have a hand wash and cream duo that I'm gonna pop in that main bathroom on the sink unit, on the vanity unit. But if it in the shower, I thought I could get matching body cleanser, shampoo and conditioner. They didn't have any of the shampoo in, so they did actually just give me a few little samples. By the way, how nice is this? This is their carrier bag. It's like a really nice linen-y drawstring bag. I love it. Definitely will repurpose and reuse that. So this is the body cleanser i went for the geranium leaf body cleanser now they did have a new scent which was an orange and clove really wanted that scent in the body cleanser they didn't have it in the body cleanser they had like a little oil that you can use in diffusers i think they had the body balm which i used on my hands that's not really lovely my mum actually got the oil but yeah had they got it in the body cleanser i would have tried it it's festive it's fun but this one i absolutely love so this is the geranium leaf mandarin rind bergamot rind it's the most bar-like, refreshing, awakening scent I've ever owned. And the bottle looks amazing. I mean, these are purely aesthetic. They're 30 quid a bottle, 33 pounds, I think this one was. Kind of pricey. If you're nifty and thrifty like I am, then once this is gone, best believe I'll be filling it up with cheaper stuff because I just want the aesthetic of this in my little shower niche in these shelves. So yeah, I picked that one up. Also, these are the sockets that we've gone for from Corsten. It's the antique breasts that they're actually antique in-house. Love these. These ones have the USB-C fast charge as well. I think they charge your phone in like 30 minutes or something ridiculous. So we got these for these sockets. And then the switches, he's actually fit the wrong one on this one. This one should have a dimmer, but it does still switch on the lights but yeah we do need to get that switched out and might i add how pretty that makes the ceiling and then if we head through here let me just oh, switch on our hallway lights so we have all of this floor working just not the top floor which you need to come back and do and same with these i think these are the wrong ones because when you put them on the light switches on but it doesn't stay they are beautiful Myra shower in place. We have the quadrant in. This is obviously the spare en suite room. And then we just need the plumber. He's gonna bring a trim back. I think he's gonna try and find one tomorrow to just cover up that bottom part. Toilet is in and little vanity unit is in as well. It's just a white vanity unit with one of these fake candles because that obviously conceals the sink. And then the Myra basin tap and the little under storage here. We also had a little bit of a boo-boo, which to be fair, I didn't even notice, but the plumber's OCD <laughs> said, uh, he pointed it out and he's like, can't believe I've done that, I have to correct it. So the, the legs, the feet on this radiator, he did that one there. So that one was only one in, that one was two in. So he's just, we said it's fine, but he's like, no, I can't leave it like that. <laughs> so he's just moved over and he's gonna sort out 
um, getting that carpet replaced. Then in my filming room, yes again, the light is just one of these where you can switch it on but it doesn't stay on so we definitely need to sort out these. But this is what it is looking like with the spots in. Look at them sockets as well, how gorgeous are they? They just work with the black radiator and the brass so well, I'm in love. And they do actually age more over time as well, they get sort of darker. I think on their website they've got like a one month versus a three month image where you can actually see them age and how different they do become. They have fitted this vanity unit which they just need to pop the drawers into and this is the sink top. I've gone for like a base, like a countertop sink with the taps coming out of the wall and this is obviously the brushed brass. I can take it off just to show you. I've gone for the base and waist and the matching brass. Brush brass from Colebrook. And that's how it's all looking so far. So yeah, now that we need to sort, like obviously bedding and everything, get it all dressed in this bedroom, we'll then be able to sleep up here and really start enjoying it because we have the lights, we have the electricity. These are some of the other bits that we have from Corsten. I feel like, I uh, see there we go, that's one switch and dimmer. See, that's what he, needed to have fit let me just open this so this is the one that we're actually we need for our bedroom to get them to switch it out but it's a toggle and dimmer so you can custom like choose which one you want whether you need three toggles and a dwim dwimmer <laughs> dimmer oh, that click is so satisfying to me okay here we go mortise door handle in bronze oh I'm so excited oh the beauty let me get it in the light Oops, <laughs> dropped that. Let me just show you this finish. Okay, so this door trim is black and bronze is virtually black. So I won't worry about if like me, you thought, oh, maybe bronze might not go, it might contrast against black. It's so similar that I would almost describe it as like a, a brushed black almost. And just to give you an idea as well, this is what they'll look like. So the rose, and the knob goes like so. It's gonna go really well. I love it. I did get quite short uh, latches. So I would recommend, I think these ones are three. I'd recommend going four inch just to be set in just that little bit more. But nonetheless, I'm a fan. So I've decided I need to get shopping. I need to start because a load of furniture pieces that you want to order are not just like next day delivery, next week delivery. A lot of things have back orders of like weeks to wait. So the one thing that I definitely want to get, I'll also show you the bathroom, we've got a bit of an update. The one thing I, oh my God, it's so cozy up here. It's amazing. The one thing I'm definitely desperate to get is a William Wood mirror to go in here in my filming room. This unit, or this space I should say, fits one of my mom drawers that I've already got from Ikea. So even if I just temporarily use them and replace them in future, I think it might be quite nice to have a set of drawers here with sockets either side so that I can pop maybe a lamp on and use those drawers for like major storage, whether it be PR bits, makeup bits, um, clothing bits as well. I can see Tom's just got home. Barney's gonna go crazy. There he is. Hi. Oh, he's on the phone. <laughs> so where are we gonna put this mirror? I'm thinking maybe here, but I am thinking that if I stand here and do any kind of videos, then it'll be distracting that you'll be able to see the mirror. You'll be able to see like my ring light and stuff. So, I am thinking that wall actually, because if I take any mirror selfies for Insta, then the background and what you'll see in the mirror is this paneled wall, which I think will be quite nice. This is our current setup in this bathroom. I love this cabinet. Oh, push. I didn't even realize it's a push. So it's, I just think this will come in. Oh, hang on, how do we close it? There we go. Um, I think it was kind of necessary, especially for me, to have a good storage system in here. There we go. And I like how minimal it is with no handles. Need to give it a bit of a wipe. Had a slight hiccup on the taps, unfortunately. We have one that is working. This one, unfortunately, the plumber just had, needs to order this part again. And then this is my bathroom. Oh yes, yeah, switch on the lights, why not? 
Wow! Oh my god, it's so nice. So I've gone for the Whoa. cold. Oh, so nice, bro. Nice, isn't it? Yeah. So I've gone for the wall arm and the biggest shower head along with the handheld. And then these are obviously the matching valves. We've got the little black trim around the niche in there along with around the shower. And he's also going to put a niche, a niche, a black trim around here just to finish that off. So as soon as he gets that delivered, he'll be able to fit that. What? He's a good boy. Tail. I know. I wonder if he's thinking, well, now this carpet, am I allowed up there? No. No. The only thing is, if he was to come up here, guys, I think he would go zoomies and pull the loop carpet because it's a loop. It's like a hatched, looped carpet. That's where it's a problem with pets because their claws can get caught in them. And when he does zoomies downstairs, the carpet is a night. It's a mess afterwards. There's claw marks in it and all sorts. So that is my worry with letting him up here, especially when the rooms are empty. Anyway, so the silicone is currently drying, but that is what it's looking like. It obviously needs a bit of a dust as well. I mean, these have been in quite a while, these valves now, but these two have been fitted today and I'm in love. Oh, I'm gonna order mirrors and I was gonna order one of these like irregular shaped mirrors for there, or maybe a circular one. We'll have a big clear up tomorrow then. This is all cardboard that needs to go to the tip. I'll do a tip run. So it has been a few hours now. It has expanded to its full capacity. It's looking good. I've also got the cushions out so that they're ready to um, just fluff up. And I mean, to be honest, they're pretty fluffy already. Oh, look how thick that is. So this, I think, because it's quite dark and late and I want a fresh bedding on, I think I'm gonna set this bed up for tomorrow night. gonna round off today's renovation slash moving vlog let me know what we should call these because it's kind of a combination of the two i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know by giving me a thumbs up if you did don't forget if you want to get yourselves your very own emma mattress pillows duvets or whatever it is that you're in the market for currently they have very kindly given me a discount code for you guys which is freya sleep i will leave all the information and links to the items listed in the description box make sure to take advantage of that discount code and let me know if any of you already have an Emma mattress or if you're currently in the market and planning to get one yourselves too. Thank you once again to you guys for watching and I hope to see you all very very soon in my next video. Bye guys!